Hey guys, welcome back to Top 1%. In today's video, I am going to make a review of CultFit. Why it's being so popular in India and whether or not you should join CultFit. Is it worth it for you? The pros, the cons, everything you need to know. So basically, they have four parts of their franchise, which is CultFit, EatFit, MindFit and CureFit. I am going to talk about all four of them and why they are being so successful basically. So let's get started. This will be an interesting video. I am in the top 1%. Okay, so to give you a quick background of CultFit, it was founded by Mukesh Bansal in 2016. He's also the owner of Mintra. And one of the many reasons why they are so successful in India is because it has a star power. It is associated with names such as Rithik Roshan and Tiger Shroff. They have their own themed workouts which is HRX for Rithik Roshan and Prowl for Tiger Shroff. And apart from that, their marketing and business part of the um, franchise, it's really really good. That's the reason they are so successful. Now let's talk about the training. Now coming to Rithik Roshan's HRX workouts, this is just another variation of strength and conditioning that they have and even this is in circuit fashion as in you do few rounds of few exercises over and over again. This is slightly better than strength and conditioning in my opinion. Give it a shot and let's see how it goes. And here we got Prowl which is Tiger Shroff special uh, exercise form in uh, curled fit and this is basically just to burn a lot of calories. It includes dance and learning how to move your body. They call it martial arts but honestly this is not how you fight. I don't have a problem with it. It helps you burn calories and it might be fun for a few people. So if you are into this stuff, give it a shot. Now let's talk about the different styles of workouts they have. I obviously talked about HRX and Prowl by Rithik Roshan and Tiger Shroff respectively. Apart from that, they've got strength and conditioning workouts and they've got HIIT sessions which is high intensity interval training sessions. They've got dance, they've got boxing. Personally, coming to boxing, I don't think it's a good idea to go to boxing over there. Um, it's okay, but if you really want to become a good martial artist, it's better to go and train in a specific place which is meant for uh, that particular martial art. That's the way I feel, but it's your choice. Give it a shot. If you like it, go for it. Talking about the pros or advantages, the first good thing about Cult is that their workout session is structured. From start till the end, every exercise, rest between sets, the number of sets, Everything is written down and explained very well by the trainer. So everything is structured, there is no guesswork involved, that's really good. And the second good thing is that the trainers are pretty good. They are knowledgeable and they know how to communicate with the people out there. The third advantage is that their data analysis is really good. That is the way they track your progress, your progress with the exercises over the weeks, your weight loss, body fat percentage change, muscle gain, all of that stuff, that's really good and that's helpful. And the fourth advantage is that the exercises, the workout sessions, they never get boring. If you're the kind of person who lacks the motivation to work out and you just want to stay healthy, stay fit and live an active life, this is the perfect place for you. Just go out there, try some new workout and then come back home. There's something new the next day and you never have to repeat the same workout twice. And that's really good for people who lack motivation. And now coming to the disadvantages or the cons. The first one, and this is a pretty big one, if you're serious about your fitness, this might not be the place for you. Now hear me out. If you're really serious about your fitness goals and you're really dedicated, then you need to plan your workout sessions and have a long-term goal in mind, all right? You need to have periodization, which is long-term goals and short-term goals, all of that put together. And each and every set, uh, workout, each and every rep, each and every set, it needs to count. It needs to lead towards something bigger. And that's something this lacks, all right? Fit, they just throw a bunch of random workout sessions week after week which is really good if you want to stay fit and just lead a ha uh, active healthy life but if you're looking for something more serious this is not the place for you the second disadvantage is that the training session is in groups which might be a good thing for some people because they enjoy the socializing aspect of it but honestly training in groups can get quite distracting especially when you're new to training and you're learning how to do the exercises and in such, say, such cases it's really better to train alone and have one-on-one -on -one focus. The third disadvantage according to me is that their workout sessions seem a bit pish posh. Let me explain. It's better to focus on the basics, learn the most important movements first and really work your way up from there, have a strong foundation and then move up to advanced movements. But here 
even the beginners are made to perform the advanced movement although there are easier variations of that that they make them perform but still it's not the best way to learn or get stronger it might seem really interesting and it never gets boring that's a good thing but honestly this is not the way that i prefer to train the training sessions are all over the place and it really doesn't uh, you know work on something specific there is no specificity that's the biggest problem and adding on to what i said in the previous point the next disadvantage is that they make you do complex movements such as deadlifts in circuit style as in you have to do five rounds of um, particular sequence of exercises which includes deadlifts and let's say push-ups and some core exercise and let's say bicep curls just an example i'm giving out here the problem is deadlift is a really complex move especially for beginners that really needs a lot of focus and attention before you learn it all right you could really get injured if you do it wrong and that's a serious thing so you need to focus on movements like that individually separately and then once you learn it once you get good at it that's when you add them in in circuit fashion the way they do over there all right so don't really play around with um how do i say this the complex movement patterns such as deadlifts or barbell rows or stuff like that in circuit fashion you literally have just 30 second break in between exercises and you're doing five rounds back to back to back that's not a good thing as a beginner you could really mess up your form and that could lead to injuries take a look at this workout session for instance they call this strength and conditioning and here they are doing thrusters which is a great exercise no doubt it targets multiple muscle groups in your body and you can also load up um, a lot of weight along with that you are doing burpees and you are doing as many rounds as possible in 16 minutes here's the problem with that you're guaranteed to lose your form at some point of time that's the reason why people hate crossfit and that's what they're calling as strength and conditioning over here that's my big issue all right so those were the advantages and disadvantages you can make your own decision whether you want to join cult fit or not based on this and now let's talk about eat fit which is their part of the franchise which serves you different sorts of food options and this is something i'm a big fan of they give you really good quality healthy food in many varieties and it's actually affordable they give you everything the calories the macros all sorts of information that you need which makes it really convenient to reach your goals and at the same time enjoy your food and that's really important and it's also tasty if you haven't tried it fit i highly recommend you do give it a shot because it's worth a try all right let's talk about mind fit which is their part of the franchise which deals with yoga and meditation i personally do yoga and meditation on my own i uh, have been doing this for quite some time now but i haven't tried mind fit for myself so i can't tell you how that is but if you want to give it a shot definitely go for it yoga and meditation is something everybody should experience and no harm in trying right all right now let's talk about cure fit which is their part of the franchise that deals with medical services this one's really interesting because this hasn't been done a lot in india before and it's definitely very convenient rather than going to the hospital so cure fit basically they just uh, come out to your home or you can go to their centers and get your blood test done it gives you all sorts of information such as vitamin levels testosterone lipid profile thyroid hormone diabetes and all that stuff apart from this we also got the option to go for consultation everything that you'd find in a hospital you got that and apart from that this i didn't expect they've also got skin and hair care which is more of the beauty side everything in one place right and apart from this my favorite part which is sports uh, rehabilitation and injury correction pain relief posture correction and all sorts of things that athletes actually deal with which is not something you see in india every day so that's appreciated all right so that's my opinion of cult fit as a brand um i'm personally not going to train over there because i told you they lack specificity which is you don't go towards a specific goal you're just randomly doing exercises one after another which is something that i'm not a big fan of eat fit is really good i recommend you give that a shot and cure fit is useful as well mind fit i talked about that overall cult fit gets a thumbs up from me because they're promoting the idea of health and fitness which is something our country really lacks and we really really need to spread the awareness about health and fitness that's really important you just have one life and one body and you got to make the most out of what you got so with that note i'd like to end today's video hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video 
Comment down below what kind of content you want me to cover in the future. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. And until next time, take care, stay hungry. Ah, okay. The wire is getting in the way. Anyways, bye.